what we have here is a 20 by 20 garage that um, I'm going to be jacking up soon. It's no longer a, a garage anymore. Uh, it's converted years ago into workshop and studio. So as you can see, this is where the garage door used to be, but it's been filled with mostly windows. So here's where it's at. Uh, got most of the concrete cut and, and busted up. Still have the perimeter to go. And uh, the reason for jacking up the garage is to replace the floor. So I've got to get the structure up before I can get the rest of the concrete out and that's going to happen soon. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I had to put some bracing in. Um, that included uh, in between the studs and uh, up here, replacing the wimpy 2x4s. 2 by 6 raise them up, more for aesthetics. Um, it's within the, one, the bottom one-third of the roof, so it's still fine. Corner bracing, right here, keep it square. This here is the gable end, and we put in a 2 by tie basically all the way to the other gable end and you can see the ledger here two 20 foot ledgers going in on the inside and then on the load bearing walls which is this wall and the one opposite we've already got ledgers on the outside so most of these garage lifts are done from the inside. Um, a lot of guys want to lift up their garage to get a bigger garage door in, or they want to be able to park their boat. Um, so they can jack it up from the inside, but this has to be done from the outside, else uh, there's no way you can pour the floor. This is part of what happens when you don't have good grading and you've got uh, rot, uh, termites, move in, chipmunks. So we need to get it up a little ways as well. Here's the outside corner. Uh, like I said, the garage is 20 foot by 20 foot. So this is a 24 foot 2 by 10. That, which is where we're gonna place the the bottle jacks underneath here. I'll jack from here, brace it with the blocking over here. Decided to go with these quarter inch spacks. I think they call it a button head. Um, they're more expensive than a lag bolt, but um, a lot stronger. It's hardened hardened steel, so. 766 uh, pounds of uh, sheer strength on these, so two per uh, stud, and those are on 24 centers here. So here's a part of the garage that is opened up. Took out the old door, gonna move the door, but uh, got the four and a half inch long spacks. So I gotta go through the the two by plus the one by car siding. I wanted to make sure I grabbed plenty of the stud. The flying buttress is looking like uh, for the side walls in the center um, with a little 
spot right here for the 2x10 to fit in.